what's up guys today we're gonna be talking like a lot of a lot of you have been asking about components external components and how you should build your characters and I'd like to cover exactly that um, and I'm gonna bring up a mechanic that a lot of gotcha players will know exactly what I'm talking about and it's very important to this conversation in its main stats if you've played a gotcha game essentially in gotcha games there's, uh, there's often an external RNG component just like how in first ascendant there are these external components in gotcha games there are around five uh, five of these things you need to slot into your character to buff them right but each of them have a main stat and four substats and in often more often than not a main stat is the most important thing you need to roll now why did how does this apply to our game in first ascendant each component part can have a different main stat right they can have either shield health or defense now the real interesting thing is each piece have has a certain scaling and it's a set scaling uh, if, if I really quickly go over to access info and click on external components as you can see um, if we look at the Slayer Auxiliary right this has a base 14 scaling defense while compared to the Polar Knight this has a 14 max HP defense now why does this matter so much is because inherently some pieces have worse base stats than others now if we look at um, if we look at the Slayer Auxiliary power right it only has base 14 but if we come over to the defense support auxiliary power it has a base of 19. what diff now you may saying oh that's only five difference that really doesn't make it too much of a difference well when scaled up to max level it's almost if we come look here 315 comparative to 4683 now you're saying trouble those are two different pieces different pieces have different scalings that is not true as so if we come look all the way down here my auxiliary power has the same scaling as my memory, has the same scaling as my shield processor, right? All of these have 275 as their highest base, and that is, across the board, the highest scaling that you can get. If we come look over to external components, you'll see that 6 is the highest base, which means 275 is the highest scaling it will get. If you see a... Oh, no, it's... No, I'm my bad. Not 6. I mean 8. Sorry. 8 is 275. 6 is 206. Ugh. Jesus, my bad. But, in general, as you'll see, I mean, look over here, our supernova is at max shield 8, right? There's nothing higher than 8 on a as a base power on it, and is, if we come over look, it's 275. Same thing with the shield processor, 275. Now, why does this matter so much? Is because set bonuses, or if you come look at our external comments, they all have, like we mentioned, set uh, main stats, right? And the real issue is, is when people want to start trying to run uh, mains, uh, the, the two-piece and four-piece bonuses on these stats. They are losing out a lot on their defensive side just because they want to run some minimal thing that is actually hurting their build. What do I mean by this? Let's, I think the best example is bravery. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just speaking from an Enzo point of view, right? This is not applicable to every character, but this is just a, probably the most pro, uh, prevalent example of this. Now, when uh, this is... I'm up. I, I like actually. This is all, a lot of people are getting this information from Glad's video, right? That video is very. It's it's basically correct. Everything is correct, other than which pieces of bravery you should run. Mostly because he runs a secondary two piece set after, which is annihilation. But we will talk about that later. But in his video, he runs a auxiliary power, which is you know our max main stat shield, and a processor, which is our not max main. We were which is not our max main stat, right? This is our. Six, this is R6 comparative to 8, which is 206 main stat comparative to our 275, right? That 69, uh, funny number, shield doesn't seem like a lot now, but it will matter in the long run. Now, the reason why he's running this set on Enzo is because he wants to maximize the amount of percentage shield. Uh, or the reason why Glad runs it is because you want to maximize the amount of shield you can get, right? Which is from the two-piece set, which gives a bonus of 11.9%. Now, why I have issue with this is not because running two-piece spare reset is bad, it's yet again because of the main stat on the processor, right? If we come really quickly look at my loadout right now, if I really quickly slot on two-piece bravery, it's perfectly, it actually boosts my defense, a shield from up from 660 to 680. That's around 200 bonus shield, right? But as soon as we slot on our, right, these two have the same main stat, right? Essentially, there's no extra bonus defenses from their subsets, meaning that they are basically identical, but we're gonna just slot them on for now, right? The, as soon as we slot on our pretend, right, our pretend bravery um, uh, processor, because yet again, it's base six stat, right? If we quickly go look over at Frozen Heart, Frozen, it has a base of six, right? Which means they're basically, they're essentially going to have the same base main stat. As soon as we slot this on, right? The, look, also, if we're looking at my current shield processor, right? The max shield is still golden. The only difference is by two. So we would be missing a difference of 71 compared to 69. But two shield is not too much. 
But as you'll see, as soon as we put this on, the difference becomes absolutely massive by around 300, right? So, just because we have slotted in a lower sub or lower main stat processor means we are losing around 300 shield, which is around 100 shield more comparative to the bravery set bonus of 11%. So we're losing around 15, maybe uh, around like 11. Uh, I don't know the exact percentage, but I'm gonna say around like 13% max shield, just because we have slotted in the wrong main stat. Now, if I yet again put it back on, we are back at around 6,800. Right? Do you see where I'm going with this? Main stats are a lot more important comparative to set bonuses and i think the most most uh the best example of this is if we really quickly put this on um and we put on our annihilation memory right because in glad's video he runs a two-piece annihilator right he runs a bravery auxiliary power bravery processor and then he runs a annihilator sensor these are yet again the same main stat so they're the equivalent to each other right but then his processor or his memory is completely different why because annihilation's memory rolls with Max HP is its main stat, not as shield, right? Comparative to Slayer Memory. Slayer Memory has max shield at 275. This one, will uh, Annihilation Memory, will only ever run with max HP. Now, as soon as I slot this on, you will see a massive jump in difference. We, were, we are at currently 6,500. As soon as I slot this on, we lose... We go down to 5,300. That is a ridiculous 1,200 shield. We're not going to talk about defense, right? Most, that's mostly just because of the substat, right? Our substats, my substat on my slayer memory is 200 more than my annihilator memory. But looking at shields alone, we have lost 1,200 uh, total health points just because we want to run a measly 5.7 skill duration, which is not even that a lot. If we go really quickly check, currently my duration is at 14 seconds, and I really quickly put on annihilator sensor. It goes up to a, a whopping 14.4, so we're sacrificing... Around 1 point, we're losing around 1.3k uh, shields. Yeah, 1.3k shields for fucking 0.4 second skill duration. I don't think that's worth it in any universe. Right? So, what should we learn? Now, obviously not everybody's going to scale with shield, right? Just, this was a example. If you would like to find your highest scaling, I would suggest you go to external components and you search up... Um, just look at every piece, right? Compare it to your base pieces, right? My base pieces, right? Like, you can tell, like, my defense right here is 19, right? My annihilation is 14. Therefore, 14 is has cannot be the cap, right? Therefore, I'm pretty sure my defense is really poor. And 19 gives the 4, 6, 8, 3 compared to the 3, 4, or something, something, right? And we can do it with HP, right? Just do it with the shield. Just giving, essentially, you can come over to this page, look at the base values, and be like, okay, which one is the highest? Therefore, this has the highest base scaling, which means that piece or pieces with the exact same base that will give me that max amount of HP or defense or shield, right? It's as simple as that. Now, if you have to, if your build heavily depends on a set bonus, such as a Slayer, right? We come look at Slayer, or not, I mean, not Slayer, Supernova, right? It's supposed to be a front bunny, right? And you're running a Supernova. Uh, this, build, this video doesn't matter to you uh, because, uh, you, like we mentioned before at the beginning of the video, main stats will always be set on each piece of auxiliary uh, of auxiliary power, right? Or, I mean, each piece of external components. So, this video can go out the window for you if you're running a four-piece set. But, if you are running a trying to run two-piece or two-piece, two-piece, this video is for you. Or, if you just want, if you're just here trying to look at max out your defensive stats, like min-max them as much as possible, try and take as much advice as you can from this guide. Um... It will significantly improve your gameplay, or it won't significantly. At most, it'll give you, or at least it will give you like around like a couple hundred, like maybe like 300 ish shields or health or whatever defense. But at most, it'll give you what maybe like a thousand, right? Which is a lot in the grand scheme of things. So, in short, I just you need to explore. You need to see what your build needs. You need to see if your build needs a uh, blank, 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 or if your if your build can change around some stuff right if your build can if you're only running a two piece if you can try and see if you can change around main stats to have give you more base main stats for the stuff that you need right you're not always going to look for the highest main stat because if you're not scaling for hp don't build for hp if you're not scaling for shield don't look for shields right makes sense but yeah, a lot of it is up to you i'm just giving you this guide to like let you know that main stats are a really important thing in the first ascendant for exilia or for external components all right thank you for watching um, my Android guide should be coming out, but like, yeah.
uh, we'll see. I, uh, I might just wait for the August for his update to come out, but yeah. Other than that, thank you for watching. I will see you later.